Hey everyone, it's Brandon with Magic Land Vacations, the Travel Planning Genies for another Travel Planning Tuesday video where I introduce all of you to one of our amazing travel genies. And today we have Laura. Today with another Travel Planning Tuesday video, I'm here with Laura Morrison, another one of our amazing Travel Planning Genies, and we're just going to talk to her and get some of her insights, get a feel for why she is a Disney and Universal expert. So Laura, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Laura Morrison. Uh, I've been a Disney lover since I was eight years old, the first time I ever went to Disneyland. Um, I now live in Florida with my husband and my son. I have two married daughters now. Thank you. Two weddings in one year. Um, <laughs> and, uh, crap, start over. <laughs> no, you're doing great. <laughs> what else? Um, I love Disney. I, I love everything about Disney. Awesome. So why don't you tell everyone, what is your favorite Disney or Universal memory that you have? Oh my gosh. I remember as a very little girl going to Disneyland the very first time with my dad. Amazing. Walking down Main Street. I remember it like it was yesterday. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. And so I, obviously that's something that you've shared now with your daughters are now grown and yes. you're originally from Texas, but now you're in Florida. So are you an annual pass holder now? I am an annual pass holder. In fact, it was the very first thing that we did when we moved here. The <laughs> third day we were in Florida, we were still living in a hotel. We got a lease from an apartment, ran to Disney World, with our new driver's licenses and information and got our pass holders. <laughs> We've been pass Absolutely. holders ever since. Absolutely. So because you've been to Disney World so many times, what is your favorite Disney World attraction? There are just so many. I can't say that I have an absolute favorite, but there are ones that we, we generally always do. I love Buzz Lightyear. I just, I love that ride. I love to shoot things. Um, Toy Story Mania, love Toy Story Mania. I could ride that time and time and time again because I'm a little competitive and my family, we, we get after it. We try to see who gets the best score. <laughs> right, now, who normally gets the best score out of your family? Um, that would be me. <laughs> now, do you know, do you know the cheats? I heard there's cheats. With there are some little secret tidbits that you can do um shoot the corners go for the corners the big numbers come out in the corners so uppers and lower corners you aim your targets there and hit those targets all kinds of things start popping out and your numbers go through the roof i love it so what about your favorite restaurant you know disney isn't and universal isn't just about the attractions i mean it's like a foodie paradise too so oh it's, like it's a total foodie paradise um, in Disney World, the Napoli. Love their pizza. Love, love, love their pizza. It is so good. Um, in Universal, we went uh, Emerald Lagasse's. We went to Emerald Lagasse's in Universal. And oh my goodness, if you've never eaten there, you need to eat at Emerald Lagasse's. What that was your favorite was dish? Amazing. Um, we, we did kind of a food tour. And so we oh. all, my entire family was there. We all ordered different things and we kind of just passed it around. Oh my gosh. It is, there's nothing that he doesn't make. That's not wonderful. I mean, <laughs> Emerald. It, it was awesome. so good. Awesome. Love it. Now, what about when it comes to a place to stay? Do you have a favorite resort hotel that you really prefer over all the others? I absolutely adore the Yacht Club. I love its placement. I love the atmosphere. It's beautiful. And you can get to everything so quickly. 
I love everything in that whole Epcot area. We do stay a lot at the Dolphin. Um, it's very, very convenient. You can walk to Hollywood Studios. You can walk into the back of Epcot. You can jump on the boats. You can jump in a bus. I'm so easy. Absolutely my favorite area to stay. That is, that is a great area. And, and if anyone is staying at the Yacht Club or the Swan and Dolphin or the Beach Club, there's also the Boardwalk, which is right over there, which has free nightly entertainment as well. And additional places, Agri Cadab Bar um, mm -hmm. and other places that you can enjoy. So there is a lot to do over there. You are right about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell us why did you decide to become a travel planning genie and help other families plan their Disney and Universal vacations? I have been planning vacations for friends and family for years, long before we ever moved over here. People would call me and go, we wanna go to Disney World. What should we do? Where should we go? And can you help me? And so I would help them. And as soon as we moved to Florida, it's like the gates open. Everybody was like, you live in Florida? Can you help me plan my vacation? So I decided to take those talents and come to Magic Land Vacations and see what we could do. And I'm so happy that you decided to do that. What do you think makes you an expert? Because I truly love Disney. I follow it. I can breathe it. I love Disney. And my husband and I, we go have date night in Disney. We'll just come home from work on a Tuesday and go, let's go to Epcot and have dinner. And we'll jump in the car and we may not ride a single attraction while we're there. We'll just go walk around and just the atmosphere makes you happy. It is, truly is the happiest place on earth. I, I absolutely love it. I couldn't agree with you more. I, we, we were just at Epcot this last weekend doing the, the festival of the holidays and did the, uh, mm -hmm. the um, Chip and Dale scavenger hunt where they mm -hmm. have the different ornaments and the wreaths and stuff like that. It's always, it's always fun. There's always something new and different to do at Disney, no matter what time of the year it is. It's always a lot of fun. Now, I know something about you that a lot of other people might not know. Besides you being an amazing Disney and Universal travel planning expert, you do something special for your clients. You have yes, a special talent and skill. Share that with us. So for my customers and my clients, when I send their box of wonders out, I do custom tumblers. So for my clients, for instance, my husband and I just did a Disney cruise and I made Disney cruise tumblers for my husband and I. And they're, you know, a little known fact, the Disney cruise ships are not black. They are Monica blue, which is a very, very dark, dark blue, not black. So I did this beautiful dark blue tumbler in gold for my husband and it, matching wine cups for him uh, but I do all kinds of different tumblers um, this is a Christmas Disney dream cup that I'm doing for customers this one happened to be mine Wow! Uh, I for Universal I have a drink up Grinches for Merry Grinchmas <laughs> that we're doing um, so I'm really excited so when my customers book their vacations with me their box of wonders uh, just might include a very special Disney or Universal Tumblr. And can you customize those for what they might want? I can customize it to anything that they want to do. Let's say they want to go to Alani. I can do a beautiful Alani Hawaiian cup and how nice would that be to be sitting on the beach in Hawaii <laughs> and your drink stays nice and cold. <laughs> I'm there, I'm there, I am, I am sold, I am there. Um, now you, you went on a Disney cruise recently and yes. I would just love to hear what your thoughts were on a Disney cruise. Well, this was our very first Disney cruise and we were on the dream and it was absolutely that a dream. Um, I have never experienced anything like it. It was beautiful. And at no time did you feel that the ship was full. Uh, my husband kept saying, They're, they must only be half full on this ship. And we spoke to some of the cast members and they said, no, we're right just about capacity. But you never felt crowded. You never felt 
rushed to do anything. And there was so much to do on this ship. Holy smoke. There, there's no reason for anybody to be bored on a Disney ship. No reason. It was amazing. The food was incredible. You have to eat a Palo. That was the most delicious meal mm. ever. Um, we took advantage of some of the tours of the ship. There's a couple of tours. Um, we did that. Castaway Key, ran the Castaway Key 5K, um, which is free. A lot of people don't know that. They can run the Castaway 5K and it's free. Um, but there's just so much to do. I, I got off the ship going, I, I need more. I need more. So several people yeah. take that opportunity to book again. They are the addicting. Once they you are do, very addicting. Yes. Once you do one Disney cruise, you just want to keep going over and over and over again. Um, I know this for a fact because I've <laughs> You've been on so many. <laughs> I've been on every ship now. So and I've done, you know, different ports. I've sailed out of Canada and I've sailed out of Miami and Port Canaveral and they're they're just amazing and every single one is a little bit different each cruise ship has a little bit different atmosphere or different some of the disney south broadway shows are the same some of them are different so you really have to try them all really to get yeah. the full the full experience well if there was one tip that you thought was the most important one that you wanted to share what would that one tip be whether it's Disney World, Universal, Disney Cruise, what would be the one tip? You just, you have to almost just throw the book out. Just go and enjoy. Don't plan to do everything on one visit because you can't do it. And then you won't have fun because then you're looking at a time clock and you're going, I have to be here, I have to be here, I have to be here. And you miss so much. The little intricacies that Disney has built into these parks and you miss them. And so, you know, never plan to do everything in one trip. Just go and actually enjoy it and be a kid. Sure, do some fast passes, you know, do those kind of things, but just go and stand at the end of, you know, on Main Street, on one of the little side streets and listen to the little things. Sit back and just watch the look in children's eyes when they see Mickey Mouse the first time. It's just, it's so heartwarming and it's so much fun to just watch people enjoy that that is such good advice laura i mean that really is such good advice and i think that's one of the actual most important things that we do as travel planning genies is we we talk to our clients and, and our families and we we ask them you know what is the most important thing that you want to experience on your vacation because you and i both know you're not going to be able to see and do it all the first time and we can help them prioritize how to get those, you know, three things they want to experience every day. You know, what are the most important fast passes? What are the best restaurants suited for their family? Because planning a Disney or Universal vacation can be really overwhelming. And a lot of people don't realize that until they start planning it and they're, you know, then they realize that they're, they're in really deep. And that's something that we do is we make it very stress-free and custom to them. And just think that's really good advice, really good advice. Well, what are you looking forward to next with Disney and Universal? What is the next thing you're excited to experience yourself? For myself, I have to do a longer cruise. <laughs> I need another cruise. <laughs> um, I would very much, um, I would very much like to go to Alani and experience Alani. So I'm hoping we are, we're hoping in the next two years to be able to plan a trip to go to Alani. Um, but we are definitely looking into a cruise next year that's going to include all of our family. So we're really looking at the, forward to that. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Laura, for sharing all of your Disney insight and knowledge with us and sharing your amazing custom tumblers. Now, everyone, I'm going to put down a link down below where you can actually schedule a complimentary consultation with Laura yourself. She would love to help plan your next Disney Cruise Line vacation, Walt Disney World Vacation Universal. And I'm also going to, you can use that link too to schedule a time if you want to talk to her about maybe a custom Tumblr as well. Um, so just check, check the comment section there. Make sure you guys like and subscribe our YouTube channel where we have 
travel planning tips every Tuesday, and we do interviews with our travel genies. And again, my name is Brandon with Magic Land Vacations. You make the wishes, we grant them. Have an awesome day.